What is going on guys and welcome back to another video. My name is Jeremy and this is Jeremy's Wild World. So as you can probably tell by the mess of my hair and the wristband, you can probably tell that today we're going to be talking about the Eastern Invert Show 2023. Now what an absolutely fantastic day it was. I literally just come home and oh my god, what an absolutely fantastic day. I love the shows. I love catching up with all people, you know, new faces, old faces. So a massive shout out to anyone that came over and had a chat today. Um, again, a massive shout out to Charlie from Eight Legged Emporium. Shout out to you, dude. Thanks for grabbing me those drinks um, throughout the day really do appreciate it, dude much needed like oh ran out of water really really thirsty and yeah so again dude thank you so much um but yeah so today basically just going to be showing you what i picked up at the show unfortunately i didn't get to go around and record footage really really busy setting up you know took a while a lot longer than i was expecting to organize my table and uh you know going around buying my bits and bobs didn't buy too much but got some absolutely stunning species and i'll be showcasing those in a bit and also be showing you off uh briefly what my table looked like on the day um but yeah so thank you again to everyone that came over said hello bought some bits even if you just came over and had a chat absolutely fantastic day you know i love meeting new face old faces um and you know that's what i love about the show is the social side of things catching up with like-minded people and you know just having an absolutely fantastic day now before we get into today's video guys i just want to quickly say that according to my youtube statistics a lot of you guys who watch my videos aren't subscribed so if you enjoyed today's video and you want to see more hit the subscribe button as well as the notification bell down below so you guys don't miss out on future content now without further ado Let's start off today's video by showing you my table that I set up at the Eastern Info Show 2023. So I hope you guys enjoyed seeing the little snippet of what kind of stock I had on my table. Now, if you're wondering, um, I did have an absolutely fantastic day, made quite a bit of bug money. Um, but yeah, you know, I just want to say a massive thank you to anyone that comes over and supports me by buying some stuff off the table. You know, it really does go towards a good thing in regards to my hobby. You know, I get to buy more food, get buy more breeding projects. So, you know, more spiders for you guys. And, you know, it, it really does, you know, humble me to, you know, see how many people do come over and support me, um, you know, and even in general just having a chat yeah i really did enjoy catching up with people today it's you know these social events it's just absolutely fantastic you know talking to like-minded people and you know one thing that really got to me today was you know uh this one little guy um i bumped into him at the bts i forgot to catch your name again dude but we had a chat today at the show and you know he said to me that i've inspired him to start his own youtube channel and you know it's stuff like that that really does motivate me to keep doing what i'm doing in regards to breeding and social media and stuff like that you know so, you know if i can inspire the younger generation any of you guys that are watching the videos if i can inspire you to you know start your youtube do some breeding you know that's all i want to do you know just inspire people to continue on the hobby and you know the younger generations are the ones who are going to keep this going so if i can inspire them ah, that's all i can ask for man you don't even have to buy anything uh, but yeah you know catching up with people old faces are new um people buying stuff from me it, the whole thing was just surreal and you know very very humbling experience today um, and again guys thank you so so much for the support now you're probably wondering what did i pick up now i didn't go with the intention of spending too much money again but you know me guys i do like to spend a bit i was going for one tarantula and i came home with quite a few bits and bobs but not too bad uh, but just starting off with you know i just got one bit of dry goods today uh, that's literally um two spray bottles from the spider shop you know i was going for cork bark unfortunately i didn't have any so you know i didn't need these because i my one that i got from bug Heart broke so i got two more for a pound each so yeah that's all the dry stock i got today guys the rest of it is livestock no feeders purely livestock goods now i want to start off with the first one which is of course a tub of dirt no i'm just joking guys um in here is actually a male mtu which is the uh flower beetles so there's one big male in here where is it there it is right here as you can see this is a l3 that i picked up from the wonderful toby's exotics um i bought this one because i had females unfortunately two females pupated and they uh, emerged and passed away now but i have one female larvae left so hopefully this little man does the job and um, pupates at the same time and i'll be able to breed them uh, so that was 10 pounds from toby so ma massive thank you again to you and to ben for picking up for me at the scottish show and sorting out for me today so massive shout out to you 
The next stuff I want to talk about is a little bit of a trade that I did. Now, these are absolutely stunning. I'm just going to pop them in front of the camera. Now, you're probably wondering, Jeremy, you said you weren't going to get a lot. Those look like a lot of spiders. <laughs> well, they are. Um, basically, I couldn't pass up this offer, and it was a trade for some of my Cupianus Sally that I had for sale and a Pelestes Johnsoni, which is the rain spider. Now, these are absolutely gorgeous. These are some spiders that you have seen before, which are the Hogna Madirianas. I can see right here, quite small at the moment. If we'll focus, eh, come on, focus. There we go. That 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 will do. Um, but yeah, so I got thirty of these in a trade, and as long as as well as um, buying another few in the beginning of the show, I bought another twenty odd. So some nice sized ones in here. Now you're probably wondering, Jeremy, you bred these. Why would you want to buy more slings? Um, the goal for me is to continue breeding these in the UK because we do see them come in and out of the hobby and I want to be able to continue on, you know, breed a second generation, which will be really, really cool. Um, the ones that I bred in November are growing really well now. So hopefully I'll get some females out of those and some males out of these and have lots of different pairs, maybe being able to offer up some pairs for sale um, if I get a lot. Uh, but we shall see but yeah so i got 50 of these slings which is absolutely amazing so i believe your name was emily if you're watching the video massive shout out to you thank you so much for these absolutely stunning now i also picked up uh, a couple males today which are first of all the absolutely gorgeous monos and choppers balfoury from the spider shop once again now i did pair my female but unfortunately she ate the sack and then molted out so I decided to pick up a male and you know for 20 quid he is a bit on the smaller side but nevertheless um it will be interesting to see how the pairing goes my female is prime and ready now so hopefully this little man does the job and uh you know for 20 quid not too bad and uh, a massive shout out to mark the spider guy for grabbing me this from the spider shop table very very much appreciate dude and uh yeah just so kind of you very 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 much appreciated so that's one mature male, and the other mature male I picked up was this absolutely gorgeous Hetropoda Lanula male for 35 Now, this is a really, really good price because basically I have an adult female that I've raised from a tiny, tiny little sling um, for the past couple of years, and she's ready now, so I'd be more than happy to try pair them again and get some more of these gorgeous huntsmen's uh, bred in the hobby. Um, absolutely gorgeous i believe i got these from david or david um david's exotic farm uh if i'm wrong i'll be leaving the name here and i'll also leave the name down in the description below as well uh, massive shout out to you dude and i hope you had a good show um but yeah again thank you so much for this i really really needed the mail so again thank you so much now next up i got another huntsman species but this time a female and this came from the absolutely amazing bug nut and that is something i wasn't expecting to see today a whole cornea muriensis now this is an absolutely gorgeous spider now i'm not going to take up the lid because it's going to start wandering around in a bit but as you can tell really really good size and for 40 quid you just can't pass it up absolutely gorgeous beach i miss having whole cornea in my collection if you guys are um you know staying on my channel for a while you'll know i used to have a breeding group of the insignis and uh, unfortunately they all did pass away um one female was captive paired but unfortunately they did die most of them died during the heat wave and then the female ate her sacks <laughs> she just hid underneath this. that's hilarious um but yeah really really cool species and i'm so happy to finally have holconia back in my collection again hopefully i can find a male at some point when she's ready uh, but for 40 pound couldn't pass it up and just a couple more bits guys something i was not expecting to see today was um aquatic invertebrates um there was a very lovely seller there with uh, a lot of variety of cherry shrimp and other invertebrates some marine invertebrates as well uh, but i decided to pick up some bits and bobs for my fish tank because i've been needing some more cleanup crew so i decided to pick up some absolutely gorgeous rabbit snails now these are really really pretty look at that little orange heads with the brown shell um, so I decided to pick up six of these. Um, they were five for, uh, three for five pounds. So, you know, 10 pounds for six. You know, in pet shops, they're normally going for about five to six pounds each for an adult. So, you know, six of these for, for 10 pounds, absolute bargain. And then I also picked up some shrimp, which are the absolutely gorgeous Amano shrimp. 
Now, I picked these up because I'm having a bit of an issue with hair algae. Um, so these guys will definitely do the job and clean up that for me. Um, some nice sized specimens and I'm really excited to have these again. Had them years ago, but you know, they don't live very long, a uh, few years at most, uh, but absolutely gorgeous. Really, really pretty. Um, yeah, some shrimp. Was not expecting to see shrimp and snails, aquatic snails at the show today. Um, but yeah, so last but not least was my target species. Now this is one I've been eyeing up for a very, very long time. Ever since I saw the pictures starting to float around on the internet, um, I've been after one of these and when the spy shop got them in, yes, it's another spy shop purchase, I just had to get one. And that is the absolutely gorgeous Melopoeus species purple. Now these are most likely to be a locality of the Albus Triatum, but nevertheless, they're absolutely gorgeous just take a look at that i'm gonna pop the lid off and see if i can get her to move her legs a bit because these spiders are absolutely unreal and best believe i'm going to be doing a rehousing vid at some point with this girl because my lord they are just an unreal spider let me just uh move that there and i will push her out a little bit there we go just look at those purples guys just, oh my god, have you ever seen a purple tarantula like this? Absolutely gorgeous. Now, it is unsexed, unfortunately, uh, but nevertheless, it's a really, really, really beautiful spider, and I'm so happy to finally have one in my collection. Um, you know, slings of these are going for about 65 in Europe, so, you know, to have a good-sized juvie for 75, couldn't pass up the deal. Um, but yeah, absolutely beautiful and so, so happy. I love my bright colored tarantulas and, you know, having one of these. Oh, look at that. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. And that is going to be ending a high note on today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, absolutely stunning day, stunning pickups, just fantastic overall. And yeah, so let's get into the outro of today's video and then we'll end it. So that is the end of today's video, guys. What do you think? What an absolutely fantastic day I had today at the Eastern Invert Show 2023. Some really unexpected pickups. You know, I was not expecting an aquatics invert seller to be there today. But nevertheless, got some absolutely stunning shrimp and snails, which have now settled into the tank. Absolutely fantastic. And I also really, really love the Melopus species purple. The most likely Alpus Triatum locality, but nevertheless, really, really beautiful. And I'm so happy to have one in my collection. Cannot wait to take some photos of her. And I just had a really, really good day all together. And here's to the next show, which for me is going to be AES. Uh, by the time this video comes out, it's literally going to be the next day. So I'm going to have an absolutely awesome day out there. Not trading, just going there casually. One of those more chilled out shows. So I'm really looking forward to it. And yeah, so that's the end of today's video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, I'd really appreciate it if you would. Click the subscribe button as well as the notification bell down below so you guys don't miss out on future content. I also really appreciate if you check me out on my social media, Jeremy's Wild World on Instagram, as well as Jeremy's Wild World on Facebook. I'm really active on there, posting pictures and videos of animals and inverts I keep when I don't on YouTube. So that's all for me today, guys. Leave a like, leave a comment, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>